So in my previous lectures, we have learned about the user interface of software, composition timeline and keyframes, concept of ease in ease out and concept of graph editors. So with the help of all this knowledge, we are going to create two types of bouncing ball animation in this lecture. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, we will create one new composition as always and we will name this animation comp. Just like that and width I will choose 1920, height is 180 and frame rate is 30 seconds and duration is 15 seconds and background color you are free to choose any color you want but to be visible I am going to choose white color hit ok and hit ok so it will create our composition now i'll go to choose grid and guide option and i'll choose this title safe action to get this kind of grid now i'm going to choose my ellipse tool and with the help of shift i'm going to create this kind of ellipse i'll press ctrl alt home to align the anchor point of the at the center then i'll select this i'll go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now what i'm going to do I'll click on this fill option and I'm going to choose this radial grid, radial gradient and hit OK. Now we will click on this box and we will choose our colors. I'm going to choose this and over here I'm going to choose some darker color and I'll hit OK. So my ball is ready. Now after that I am going to press Y which is a shortcut key for selecting our pen behind tool and with the help of control i'll snap this anchor point at the edge of the bottom now as we know that we have to make the bouncing out ball animation so i'll have hit p on my keyboard for position property and i'll select this position i'll right click on it and i'll choose separate dimensions so now what we have we have two separate properties for x and y positions now in this animation we are only going to focus on y position so initially i want this thing to be up so either i can go from here or simply you can selection choose select tool and you can move this over here just like that now i'll zoom in a little bit and i'll go to but initially i'll create one keyframe on y position i'll go to around 20 frames and in align tab i'll go over here which is aligned vertically so it will automatically come down so if we hit play we will get this kind of animation then after few keyframes i am gonna create this kind of keyframe and in middle of this i will move this over here so if we hit play now we will get something like this but as you can see it doesn't look like a bouncing ball so for that what we will do we will select those keyframes and we will simply hit f9 which is a shortcut key for ease in ease just like that now after that we need to adjust the graph editor so with the help of graph editor we can create this some kind of realism now after i'll select those keyframes and i'll go to the graph editor as you know in our previous lecture we have learned about the two types of graph editors out of which we are going to edit speed graph if your graph editor is at edit value graph so all you need to do simply right click over here and choose speed graph just like that now whenever something comes from up the initial speed should be very slow so make that what we are going to do i'll select this handle with the help of shift i will move this thing over here so it, the velocity as you can see over here the velocity is very slow and when it touch the grounds it's become maximum so i'll select this keyframe and i'll move this handle over here so if we hit play we'll get this kind of thing now i'll zoom in a little bit now after the bounceness what will happen the ball will gain gain some maximum speed of it so for that what we are going to do we will select this handle and i'll move this graph over here i mean this handle over here and i'll select this one and i'll move this handle over here so it will gain maximum velocity and as it go ups it will become slow so again as it goes down the speed should be slow and as it touches the ground speed should be maximum so i'll move this over here so now if i see this animation we will get this kind of bouncing ball animation over here i'll zoom out a little bit so we'll get this kind of stuff 
now we can add some squash and stretch in this animation so for that what we will do i'll press s on keyboard to reveal my skill properties and i'll unlink this option here over here and over here i'll make it 70 and i'll create one keyframe over here and then i'll hit u now i'll zoom in a little bit i'll go one frame backward and i'll make it 100 again i'll go over here and i'll make it 100 again i'll select those keyframes and i'll hit f9 so if i hit play as you can see we will get some squash in this over here just like that now after that what we can do we can select this layer we can press ctrl shift c which is for pre-composition and we will call this composition as what let's say ball and i'll hit ok just like that and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it i'll press s for scaling option and i'll unlink this option and instead of 100 i am going to choose this minus 100 so if i hit play we will get something like this now hit p for position and i'll move this downwards so what will happen it will create one kind of reflection i'll press t for opacity and for the opacity i'll choose 50 so now if i hit play we will get one reflection also just like that if you want then you can de decrease the reflection just like that so we'll get something like this so yep this is our first bouncing ball animation now we will create our second bouncing ball animation which is quite long so to create a new composition either you can go from file new and new project or you can simply press ctrl alt n to create a new composition i am not gonna save this file over here but if you want the project file so i'll save it just like that now we will create a new composition again and we will again call it as animation comp and width i'll choose 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 50 seconds and background color is white color and i'll simply hit ok choose grid and guide option and i'll hit title safe action now again i'm gonna choose this ellipse and with the help of shift i'm gonna create this circle over here i'll press ctrl alt home to align the anchor point to the center then select this layer go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now press v for selection tool and what i'll go do i'll move this thing over here just like that and now i'll hit p for position i'll select this position right click and i'll choose separate dimensions now i'll create one keyframe on x position and i'll go to around two seconds and i'll move this thing from here to here now if we hit play we'll get something like this or you can move this keyframe up to three seconds so you'll get something like that now we need to create some bouncing animations over here so now we will animate this y position initially i'll move this y position over here like that create one keyframe over here i'll zoom in a little bit go to around 20 frames and with the help of shift i'll drag this over here don't create any keyframe on x position like that go few frame forwards again create one keyframe on y position then again go few frame forwards again create one keyframe on y position and at last again keyframes one position on y one keyframe on y position just like that also initially i think we need to move this downward so i'll select this i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v just like that i'll move this thing a little bit forward and we will adjust those keyframes like that now in middle of these two i'll move this thing over here now i'll select those keyframe i'll hit ctrl c i'll go over here and i'll hit ctrl v to copy those keyframes make sure that you are not gonna create any keyframe on x position so again i'll hit ctrl select sorry select this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v go over here hit ctrl v again 
so now if we hit play as you can see we are getting something like this now i'll select those keyframe i'll hit f9 to easy ease those keyframe but as you can see it looks something weird because we haven't adjusted our graph editor so i'll go to the graph editor and now what i am gonna do i'll select this graph with the help of shift i'll move this thing over here and this thing over here i'll select this thing and i'll move this thing over here and at this point i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here so i'll get proper animation of bounciness now again i'll select this key handle i'll move this thing over here and this thing over here select this handle and move this thing over here because after the bounce the uh, velocity should be maximum so our graph is like this and as it goes up the velocity should be minimum so our graph is like this and when it goes down initial velocity should be slow and then it becomes fast so i'll move this thing over here now same procedure we need to follow for all of them So now if we see our animation, we will get something like this. Now again you can use squash and stress so I will press S, I will unlink this option at this point, I will make it let's say 70 and I will create one keyframe over here but because we haven't adjusted our anchor point so I don't think we need to do that, just like that. So again you can select this one, I will press Ctrl Shift C to pre-comp it and I will call this as ball again. Hit Ctrl D, press S for scaling option, unlink this option and let's make it what's say minus 100. I hit U, I'll go to over here in animation, press P for position and I'll move this thing over here and drag it down, hit T for opacity and we'll decrease the opacity of this one. So you'll get this kind of bouncing ball animation like that. So as you can see with the help of graph editors and all the uh, essential things we can create this kind of bouncing ball animations. So that's it for today's video. In my le next lecture, we will talk about the, all the layer types in After Effects. Until then, stay tuned.